All right, Shalom, call Haloyim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kodash, double honor to the head elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to you, Akim, throughout the world. Just wanted to get make a quick point about uh, <clears throat> uncircumcision and circumcision. All right, and no one, I want to tie it into history. And to the days that we're living in now, because as we're going to read and what the scriptures speak about is how Israel is a uh, hard headed, stiff neck. They have uncircumcised ears, uncircumcised hearts, all metaphors. Well, the ear is a metaphor. The uncircumcised ear is a metaphor for they don't want to hear things that's right. Right. Like the scriptures say, uh, prophesy smooth things. Let's get into it. Jeremiah 9, 25 and 26. Behold, the days come, say if you how about Shimei Shai, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Now, this is dealing with first and foremost Israel because Israel was given the law of circumcision. We can go to Genesis the 17th chapter. I believe the 14th verse. That was a custom, or that was uh, that's in Genesis. That was given to Abram. Abraham, but it trickled down to Isaac and Jacob, even Ishmael, but these are not the children of the promise. Let's read on. Egypt and Judah, see? Egypt and Judah. Who's the people of Egypt? All right, Hamites, Mizraim, all right, Judah. That's that's the tribe of Israel. That's the, uh, that's the tribe of Israel. And Edom. Those are, you know, these Edomites and the children of Ammon, all right, and Moab, all heathens, Egypt, Edom, Ammon, Moab, heathens. But Judah is what? It's supposed to be, you know, chosen people of the Most High, which they are. But see, let's read on. And all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness, for all these nations are uncircumcised. And all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. And we know that the heart is the mind. So I have this information on epispasm by Robert G. Hall, circumcision in reverse. Okay. Now check this out. All right. I mentioned Genesis 17. You can read it yourself. For centuries, uh, Jewish boys have regularly been circumcised when they are eight days old an unusual challenge to circumcision developed however in the Hellenistic period after about 133 BCE Hellenistic and Roman societies widely practiced public nakedness hence gymnasiums but they abhor the, ba the bearing of the tip of the penis called the glands to expose the glands was considered vulgarly humorous, indecent, or both. So he, here it is. You got the Edomites. That's what these these uh, Greeks and Romans were. Okay? These Edomites, they saw, or not saw, but they, they considered, all right, the circumcision, the circumcised penis, right, to be vulgarly humorous, indecent, or both. This combination of attitudes could be and often was devastating for circumcised Jews, enjoying oneself in a Greek gymnasium or Roman bath, where nudity was de rigueur, was a popular and stylish pastime, man. How damn twisted is that? Now, this doesn't it say, and these are Israelites, these are Israelites that what? That felt devastated that they weren't accepted for being circumcised. So what they did, what they did was what? Let's read on. Here, politics was, dis was discussed and business deals concluded. Athletic contests and exhibitions were also conducted in the nude. Come on, this is sickness, man. Participation in athletics was often a prerequisite for social advancement. 